Hello everyone and welcome back to Battletech Extended with the Crimson Raiders. In the last episode we have equipped our Thunderbolt uh, and it's ready for action now. I have also prepared the Ossol, um, which it's not yet equipped but it, uh, it should be, we will equip it in three days basically. And I have equi already equipped the Warhammer uh, that was actually in between episodes, so I pretty much forgot what I've put into it. But I guess this uh, we will see this uh, together in uh, yeah maybe in the next episode. As I don't know. So uh, today we are going to launch our uh, go into our next priority mission into our next story mission but before we do that i want to let two days pass so that glitch is back which uh, yeah i really want to have her in this mission so we have our full alpha lens i guess so we could theoretically bring the thunderbolt and it Main wouldn't... I don't know. So the problem is, if I bring the Thunderbolt, we don't have a, ma a pilot that is capable of running it to its full power because no one has experience in it. On the other hand, it's a two-skull mission and at some point somebody needs to build experience for it. So maybe this is it, but on the other hand, the story missions are always a bit different. Quirky, I guess, is maybe not the worst word. So, I don't know whether we should do that. I mean, so the, the, safe, the safe thing would be to just bring in the Vindicator. That's Glitch has experience in the Vindicator. It's proven itself. It's pretty reliable. So, that would be the safe version. Um, other possibilities would be the Trebuchet, which we've uh, experienced in the last mission to a great success, so I'm really happy with that. We could also try out the Griffin, which is another heavily armored, uh, heavily armed mech uh, with a lot of mm, close range firepower, so it basically fits the same role as the Vindicator, just like with much more firepower. Um, so that would be a possibility as well, or the Thunderbolt, and I think we should try to cre keep our drop costs on the low side. So m I think it's probably the best to just go with the Vindicator. I think that's fine. So put glitch in here. Oh, by the way, I've um, made a quick, uh, a quick, a little change to the quick draw. I have removed the one remaining jump jet and just added a little bit more armor, so it's a little bit more durable. Since I've barely used the, the jump jet anyway, and I felt we need someone. Well, it needs more durability clearly, uh, since the last main mission, and we had like Spectre die in this thing twice so it's clearly not holding up but anyway uh, let's just go ahead and see what this mission is all about I'm not sure whether I've read the mission description to be honest so I guess we'll go ahead and do that once the loading screen is over so yeah made a couple of uh, little well, I, this was just one adjustment that I made to the to quick draw. Um, there were no other changes otherwise. So, the Restoration Army is engaged in a battle of attrition against the, decorate, the, the Directorate forces. And our ground forces need resupply if they are going to prevail. To, the, to that end, I'm sending you to capture a Directorate mu munition dump, eliminate their defenses and prevent them from getting away with the munitions. Our support staff will handle the rest. Okay, that should be doable. Prevent them from... So it's probably another mission that is time sensitive, I would guess. Since we need to do something before they get away. 
Welcome to the Smithen, Commander. The bulk of our army is entrenched in the capital. Exchanging fire with what's left of the Rectorate's defense force. The battle is leaning in our favor, but we are running low on ammunition. This is where you come in. The structure before you is a munition dump that the Rectorate stole from a house Corrosus. I need you to take it back, find our hostile units and el eliminate them. Our combat support staff will handle the rest. I've highlighted several optional objectives for you on this mission that all pay equally well. Okay, interesting. Saving some of the ammunition that's already packaged for transport will earn you a bonus payment. If you manage to preserve the bulk of the, of the ammunition, you will receive a second cumulative payment. Finally, I will pay you a bounty for any direct transport you manage to destroy during your, the engagement. This assignment comes with risks. And the facility is heavily guarded, and if any of those munition crates come under fire, the resulting explosion will deal the heavy damage anything caught in the blast. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. This includes directed units, so feel free to target the crates yourself. But know that you may be sacrificing a bonus in doing so. Okay, maybe we don't do that. <clears throat> Good hunting, Commander. Take out those battle mechs and mind the crates. Okay, so save six crates six ammo crates, save three ammo crates. Okay, so where is what? Interesting. So we have six over there and we have six and three is nine. Why does it say eight uh, crates remaining? Something doesn't add up. Destroy the garrison units. Yeah, this is an ammo crate. What is this? Small military building. Maybe we should destroy that first. Interesting. I'm still... I, s I only see 8. Save 6, save 3. That's 9. Something doesn't add up here. Maybe it's a... Maybe I'm just missing something. And we do have 8 garrison units. So I'm seeing 2 max and 2... Turrets right there, LT turret, 20 ton mech, 35 ton mech, so those are lights, another 30 over there. That doesn't look too bad. Not sure about this building. I mean, it doesn't seem like we do have a time limit at this point in time. So I guess we'll first of all go to reserve, let them just do their thing so what is okay, so there are more military buildings what is this medium reinforcement reinforced building I'm not sure whether there is any use in destroying these buildings I mean why should we do that so I mean, since we know those are 30 and 35 ton max, that's probably a fire starter if I had to take a guess. Uh, let's move you over there. On my way. And get a PPC shot. Locked on target. And negative. miss, despite it showed as not a miss. Well, that was a strange... Turn of events. What's up, boss? Well, anyway, let's uh, get you over there and we'll do some sensor locking. Um, curious about the turret, to be honest. Got a, lock. a light LRM turret. They've got a sensor lock on me. Okay, so you have been sensor locked by this guy. So two LRM tens. Well. I mean, it's not the most dangerous thing in the world. Oh, you should, you could shoot at the turret. But with... Well, 67 is not too bad. And I assume the turret will fire on us anyway. So maybe we should take that shot. Copy that. And just, like shoot into the rock 
five meters in front of us. Well, I, hear I guess uh, that was a thing. Um, can we get you? I don't want to get in range of this second turret, to be honest. I would pre prefer to just see the, the first one. Apparently that's not possible. Well, we're going over there. And just shoot at that building. Excellent. Not sure whether that does anything for us, but... So there's a spider. Yeah, couple of LRMs incoming, not too big of a deal at this point. We're way too inaccurate. I pretty much assume that this is not gonna be it. It's way... It's just overall not enough defenses, I think. And another turret shooting. So we do have two LRM turrets. Interesting. Fire damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. So we gotta get rid of those turrets. Basically. Standing by. Basically, we gotta get rid of those turrets. Hmm. I guess this is not the worst move here. Well, we do have another 35 ton over there. I mean, we could do something like this. We would have a direct shot onto this LRM turret. So, let's do this. Let's see what we got. Another LRM turret. So, I guess we'll shoot at this thing. Maybe we can get them destroyed both in this turn. So, there's... That's probably a locust if I had to take a guess. That's indeed a fire starter. Excellent. Just what I thought. Okay, that's terrible. Odds. Could shoot at this building. Not sure. Let's get Let's get glitch over here. I mean, she did lose a couple of armor, but it doesn't see well. Okay, doesn't seem too big of a deal for her at this point in time. Tell me what to shoot. Excellent hit. So I believe. Ah, uh, not a target lock. I believe we should be able to get rid of this guy. At least let's. Let them move. Okay, they don't want to do anything. So, I guess we will... Go right here. We'll do a multi-target. So, this has basically 13 HP. So, I think... Uh, we will... No, do multi-target, please. So we'll shoot at this and we'll shoot at this guy. Uh, you go on to B as well. So we probably, we sh the, the other M5 should be enough to kill this turret and then hopefully we'll get a good amount of damage into the second one. Excellent. Perfectly calculated on my part if I may uh, say so. And the second one is eliminated as well. That's, oh there are two more mechs over there. Unknown max. But at least the turrets are gone. So. Hmm. Is this. Oh, there is a turret as well. Oh, that's just a machine gun turret. Oh, interesting. I was shooting at the building instead of the turret. Not sure whether that is good or bad. I guess, hmm, not sure what I, what I want to do with the Centurion. We could go over here and we would still not be able to do a sensor lock on him. 
Uh, we don't. We can shoot at the fire starter. Two M lasers. Orders. I think we will probably. Waiting for orders. Well, we we should be in. Oh no, we are not in range of the turret because it only has medium lasers. Well, I guess someone else will take care of those of this guy in the next turn. Hmm. I don't see a good move for you overall, so I guess you will just brace. <laughs> Bracing for impact. So there is the spider. Coming up. But still not in range to shoot. Uh, it seems at least. Okay, we have to take a look at that guy. He seems... Oh, that's a dragon. Yeah, he is nasty. That's a heavy mech. Okay, so we need to get the fuck out. So those are a couple of heavies, I think. Not sure about the third one. Cicada. Another PPC hit. Stop it already. What's going on? That supply truck is running with a full load of ammunition. Don't let it escape. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it. we can catch it. I mean, it's moving really fast. So... I guess we will jump um, jump you over here and try to get rid of this turret for now. Ready, set. So you shoot the bloody turret. Still not enough. Unfortunately you missed a large laser. So who... I didn't saw who was moving not sure whether we can yes, take care of that vehicle to be honest i mean we could try and sensor lock it and just do an indirect fire damage which would be okay hmm I guess we'll go into reserve for now. So how you can move over there, you wouldn't get view on Orders. the vehicle. So I think we'll move you over here. Got it. And we'll probably... Uh, who do we have left? We do have the Shadowhawk left and this, the quick draw. So I guess we will sensor lock this vehicle and just see what it has excellent miss over there so he has 300 total armor I guess we should try to hit him it doesn't really matter too much. 11 HP, so we just need a couple of really good shots. I think. Well, you probably should take care of this laser turret. What about you? Oh. Receiving you. We do have a 42% chance on the mobile HQ. The problem is, even if I hit it, it's probably not going to be enough. But I guess we will try regardless. With a multi target. So we will fire at this turret. We will fire at this thing. We'll go down to 42. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we can fire again next round. Roger. So the turret is down. Excellent. And this was just a total disaster. I don't think we can 
it doesn't look like we we will be able to kill that thing hmm can you jump somewhere useful well apparently not so I guess we'll move you over here Location confirmed. and you'll just brace let's see what they do so I have the spider going onto this hill interesting not sure what to think of it so there is the dragon he probably doesn't have line of sight well he hit again with four evasion or five even another supply truck is fully loaded moving out destroy it before it gets away well there are too many supply trucks I don't think we can prevent those supply trucks from really running. This is the furthest we can move. Ah, we, we, I mean, we could go here, but we would be extremely exposed from basically everyone. So let's maybe not do that. What about you? You would be in line of sight of this cicada. So I guess we'll move you over here for now. Roger. And we'll put a sensor lock on. I don't think it's worth to shoot at this vehicle only with uh, our indirect missiles. I don't think that's going to be enough. There is a locust. Uh, okay, it's over there. Interesting. Waiting for orders. So I guess we'll... These are terrible odds. What's going on? Commander. Uh, I guess we'll just go into reserve for now. Got a lock on me. Okay, so they sensor locked the Centurion. It's probably I think it's the the fire starter that does the sensor lock. This guy. Okay, so he has four evasion now. Well that's not too good. I guess we will just do this. Do a melee attack for now. Get rid of some heat. Lovely. So the structure is exposed, but I mean... Anyway, it's just a... It's just a small little Commander. spider. Um... So if I go, would go over here, we would have line of sight of... Those guys, so that's a medium, that's a heavy. I would really like to take care of this cicada at least. So we'll probably move over here. Copy that. And we will fire everything we have. Could do a precision strike even. And the PPC is located at, I think, uh, right here, yes. So we should try and fire over there. And hopefully at least, yes, get rid of this PPC. Perfect. Excellent. That's exactly what I was looking for. So this cicada is not a threat anymore. There is the dragon. He looks interesting. Very interesting thing mech. Look uh, from a visual standpoint. LRM 10 and AC5. Okay, well. Ready 
I guess that's okay. I guess that's fine. Um, we'll probably move you over here. Uh, still not a good enough shot. So let's stay here. You should be decently safe at this point from most harm. So I'll just fire everything and get rid of this guy. Probably not a threat anymore. Pilot injured. So it's their turn. That's a 55 ton. With some LRMs as well. Looks like another LRM 10. That's okay, I guess. So the Cicada shouldn't be able to fire. Perfect. There's the Locust incoming. And the fire starter as well. And someone with another PPC. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Who is that? I don't see it. So he, the spider is getting up. Okay. What is he doing? I don't see anything. The camera is doing weird things. Oh, he's melee attacking. Okay, well, interesting choice there. That's a 35 ton mech with a PPC. Yeah, I... Honestly, I don't think we can stop the vehicles. Okay, we have a griffin. Could you stop with this bloody PPC spam? Armor holding. So, okay, we need to... Be a bit careful here. Where do we have our PP? I don't want to lose the PPC plus. So it's in this arm. Okay, I. So you have a PPC and an LRM ten. And there is the cicada. Well, I guess that's okay. I th I think we will... What do we do here? I don't want to expose myself to the dragon, if possible. But I would like to get at least a sensor lock into the griffin. So we'll move you... Well, we also... We want to get the Griffin a target, so we'll move you over here. Right? Well... Hmm. Maybe we should not get a target for now. Or not give them a target for now. So let's just move you over here. We, ne we need to cool down anyway, so... We can probably... Take a shot at this Jenner. See Roger. how things go. Well, nothing hit. Absolutely no nothing. Joy. No joy at all. There's the dragon. Okay, good. Fire at the Centurion. That's much hit, more to my taste. So let's go into reserve. I want to move the quick draw next. So you need to punch this thing and you should be decently protected. So I mainly did that to get rid of some of the heat yes, at least. Um, there is a fire started. Okay, that's a Janner. I guess, I assume he has a lot of evasion, so let's not try to attack him. It's probably our best... Hmm. Do I just want to get rid of this spider? Orders. Wouldn't be the worst idea. 
Okay, let's do that. One down. So that's a lot of enemy units actually. So maybe we should actually consider destroying a couple of, of these crates. There is a dragon. I don't want to get in range of the bloody dragon. That's bad. I don't want to shoot. Well, maybe I want to shoot at this guy. I mean, 50% is not too bad considering he has 4 evasion. So I guess we will do that. We could even do a precision strike. Here we go. Should be in... No, it's not enough. Okay, well. Let's see what they come up with. An enemy transport has escaped. Yeah, that was expected. Unfortunately. But nothing we can do there. We just weren't in a position and don't have... The necessary f firepower to do something. So, okay, we are already. It's already our turn again. Yes, Commander. So, you are not exposed to the dragon at all right now. What's up, boss? Huh. I guess we'll go into reserve. So there is the Locust coming, that's okay. Yeah, uh, you can shoot at his back, that's okay. We just turn around and it should be fine. And just punch him in the face. Okay, we do have s an AC5 grid. Well, that's not good. Okay, maybe shouldn't have taken that so lightly. There is the Panther with the PPC. But missed. There is the Jenner. Okay, that's pretty bad. Okay, I should not have done that. That was terrible. The problem is, I don't think we can afford to lose this mission. They are going straight for the Shadowhawk. What is going on? Like everybody. Ready for orders. Yeah, you are extremely heavily damaged. And you don't have well you've lost everything except your AC5 and your melee hits. <sighs> I guess we'll just turn around and hit him. Could even do a vigilance move. I mean, we will at least turn around the other side, so I guess that's okay. Still, I think we are going to do a vigilance move. We'll attack this guy. I think that's a one, that was a one-shot kill, right? So he is dead as well. Now, uh, we do still have the bloody griffin, we have the bloody panther with all their PPC crap nonsense. Ready for orders. What are we doing here? What is the play? I guess if I go over there, we could get this crate to explode, maybe? How much health does it have? We don't see that. Well, yes, shit. So I guess for now, we'll just stay out of sight of those three guys. We will take uh, hits from... from the LRMs, but that should be it. 
Well, you could do a jump move. Go over here. I think that wouldn't be the worst idea either. However, I would like to shoot him from the front. So let's go here. We should show our left side. So we'll do something like this. I will probably do a precision strike as well. Um, and maybe try to go for the head. Okay, we did at least decent amount of damage to this fire starter, so he should be heavily impacted. What about you? You wouldn't, well, you would be in range of the griffin if you go over there. So maybe that's not the best move. What about you? Well, you can move one forward. Which would give you at least a semi-decent shot with a PPC. If you go back... Would that change anything? For example, right over here. Well, it is risk. It's it's probably too risky. I think we'll, we'll do something along those lines. We will. We could do another precision strike for 67. I don't think that's worth it, to be honest. Okay, that's a miss. Negative damage. Unfortunate, but at least uh, if we stay like this. Okay, so the griffin would still see us. I don't like that. Could come from this side and maybe do a couple of flanking shots from over here. I don't want to expose myself too hard. Maybe we should have just stayed here and did a sensor lock. That probably would have been good. So I guess we will take another PPC hit from him. But at least we can do some fire in return. So I, I won't fire the AC-20. Because the accuracy is not good enough. Okay, still let's go, let's go, let's go. not too much. Let's see what they come up with. Yeah, that's what I thought that you come in range as well. So we will. I'm expecting a lot of focus fire onto the Centurion. Okay, so we are already ready to move again. With you? Why can you move earlier? Okay, so would you would be in range of the panther. Who has already moved and shoot it. But it's still a bit of a risk. Doing anything other than a melee doesn't make any sense at all. So I guess we will do this. Since we don't really have alternatives. Pilot injured, excellent. An enemy transport has escaped. Yeah, okay, that was expected. That's the second transport, okay. You're still good. I'm probably playing too greedy. Okay, more fire onto the Shadowhawk. I think as long as you don't attack him from behind. That's semi-okay. So there is the cicada. Good to go. I guess you will... Probably do a melee attack as well, since you really need to cool down. So let's Target. do this for now. Hopefully we can get rid of this guy. 
Well, apparently not. He's getting up again. Probably running away if I had to take a guess. Yep. And he's doing another sensor lock. Yeah, you bloody bastard. We can we see that somehow? It's maybe it's because it's a tactician. We probably can all do that. We could shoot at him from the back. I don't wanna <sighs> I guess we I mean the cicada is not a threat at all. So maybe we do take him out first. Let's go over there and shoot him in the back. Panic level critical, still not enough. Stop shooting at the Shadowhawk, you bastards! So while the dragon has moved, maybe we can actually, now that he is maybe a little bit exposed. Well, the problem is, we could get a good shot onto the dragon, but we are exposing ourselves in the process, which is the issue. 62. Not really sure. The problem is they will all be able to fire at us in the next turn. And if we are unlucky, we may even lose the PPC++. So, I would like to prevent that if possible in any way. But on the other hand, I mean, the, the Shadowhawk is also terribly exposed. So, I guess someone has to bite the bullet. Um, maybe we should... Well, we do have the better chances against the Griff, the Dragon, since he is not... has no evasion whatsoever. We could also do a precision strike onto the Griffin. Where is your PPC? Here? Yeah, right. Okay, so if we... F if we would ma be able to kill the right torso, he would lose both the LRM and the PPC. Maybe that is our best option here. That's 69% as well. So let's try and take that. And just miss. Okay, so he's moving away. That's fine. Commander? So we definitely want to move the Shadowhawk a little bit. Commander. Not yet sure what to do, to be honest. That's a 30% chance. Don't like that at all. He could fire at 57 at the dragon and the 30 at the panther. You definitely need to weigh, move away. Well, I guess you can still take a hit. You're not really hurt. But we don't really have a good move as either. Staying on spot would be the best thing we could do, but which I guess we will leave you for now. The cicada still has one machine gun. I guess let's see what they do for now. Okay, they going to, in to reserve as well. So we should probably move the quick draw 
So we would still have line of fire onto the Cicada. We would still have line of fire onto the... No, not onto the Griffin. Onto this crate. With 25% HP. I guess we're gonna shoot at this thing. Gonna try to blow out these two guys. Copy that. We would overheat a little bit. So I guess we won't fire the LRM-5. Let's do this. So how are you guys feeling now? Stop shooting at the bloody Shadowhawk. So he has almost no back armor. He has almost no back armor as well. Standing by. So we need to get you out of the way here. I guess. Well, we at least need more evasion. We could move over here and shoot this guy. It's not a good. It's not good odds, though. Hmm. We could jump over there. Take a shot like this. To be honest, I would like the cicada to move first. Yes, Commander. So I'm not sure what to do. Because if I yes. shoot him, he will just move in the next turn, probably. Maybe we should just... Stay out of the way for now. Go over there and just... Let's just brace for a round. Not like you do have a good move at this point. Okay. So we need to move the Vindicator out as well. So... These guys can still act. Waiting for orders. They probably have line of fire as well. I think we'll go, we'll do something like this. Go over here. We'll try to shoot at this cicada. Just a normal shot, that should be fine. And some more shots at the Vindicator. Well, that's fine. He has a crap ton of evasion. So I'm totally okay with this. I guess we try and finish up this Cicada now. So we, we enable the AC-20 as well. He is not dangerous, but I just want it gone. So we can just focus our shots on to the more dangerous targets. Good. At least the PPC missed. That's more than you can expect these days. Doctor exposed. Reporting. Internal damage. So what was that? We don't know. What was... something was shooting over from over here and I have no idea what it is. Okay, your leg is damaged. That's okay. With the PVC in there, we should sh try to show your other me. side, to be honest. So, what about you? I guess we're gonna we are going to do something like this. Good to go. Uh, you are not exposed at all where you're currently standing. Which is good. 
What is this? This is the Janner. I'm not too afraid about the Janner. Uh, we want to show our right side, so this should be okay. Not too good of odds onto the fire starter for some reason. I don't really understand that. We we'll get a lot of heat in the process, so maybe this should be a precision. Ah, uh, well, yeah, we do have enough resolve to. Okay, so thirteen. Let's just. That should should do it. Excellent. So that was the guy that sensor locked us. Let's see if this panther. Yeah, it's shooting. Okay, well, it's at least shooting at the centurion. I guess that's the silver lining. We need to start doing something about those guys. Guess we'll move over here for now. Let them come into range. We'll do a sensor lock on the panther. I've got a sensor lock. Since he already moved anyway. Okay, so the Jenner is incoming. That's fine. Come closer, guys. Waiting for orders. I'm not sure what I should do with you at all. I guess we'll move you... I guess we'll move... We could, oh, we could sprint... Over here. Just... For now, to have everyone in the same place. And we need to... Okay, so yeah, they have vision on the Centurion, that's why he gets shot on. That's understandable. So he is... we could blow up another crate if we want to. What I really would like to do is... He hasn't moved, he hasn't acted yet. So we could move over here. Well, that's not too good of a shot, unfortunately. We want to show our left side, which we can't right there. So we're probably going to do something like this. Yeah, that sounds much better. Oh shit. Yeah, no, we, sh we want to show our right side. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so I, I did it correctly. Uh, you do have a PPC. Where is your PPC? Right there. 40, 50. Uh, armor is... Well, pretty much the same, so I guess we'll go for the 50. Get rid of this PPC. Oh shit. Oh, that was not a good thing that I'd done. Not a good thing at all. That Damage is minor, Commander. could have gone horribly wrong. Okay, so we actually got the completely wrong part. Well... I guess we'll go into reserve for now. See what they do. They go into reserve as well. So we can move you out of the way. I think we'll go over here and cool down for one round. At least. So just brace. Pandra's moving up. You are an annoying piece of Commander? cake. Can we... I mean, we could stay here. And have terrible shots all across the board. So I guess we will go over here. 
and still have terrible shot. Well, okay, we are out of range. That makes sense. Well, we ha would have terrible shots onto this guy anyway, so since it doesn't seem to make a difference at all, let's move you over there. Put a sensor lock onto this panther. Jenner is coming up, okay. He's still able to fire on him. Almost overheating in the process. 50. Well, we would have a decent shot from over here. I guess... Well, we should move, definitely. I guess we'll shoot at the panther. Although I don't really like that we will only get one evasion out of this procedure. I guess we can also just cool down and sprint over here. That's okay as well. Just just cool down for a round. Let them come to us. Yeah, they will still fire some LRMs, but we should be able to take those. At least. So, who hasn't moved? Or who? Can you... Well, that's a 37% chance. That's also terrible. I guess it's because this thing is critted. I guess. Maybe. So I'll probably just sprint around. Like this, for now. On the move. Full speed. Just get some evasion as much as we can and wait for a decent opportunity not sure how much ammo they have left they have shot quite a couple of times but I guess they have enough stop shooting at the Shadowhawk still three evasion bloody hell okay so he's moving down so he has already moved. I guess we can go into reserve. Commander. Well, you have to move anyway, so I guess we'll move you over here. So who should it should attack first? I think if you going to attack, you will be the one who attacks first. So let's just do that. Get rid of one evasion. That's something, I'd say. But these guys are relentless with their spam. Losing armor. Unbelievable. Good to go. Okay, what about you? How, do you have a good shot? You do have a decent one. So let's do this first. Let's take this shot first. Perfect. So his right arm is destroyed. He has no PPC anymore. However, I think it would be good to get rid of him completely. Since that would reduce the enemy's vision. So I guess we'll move you up front Affirmative. and just take a not sure whether we should do a precision strike I don't think that's worth it to be honest let's just Fire. shoot like this perfect so he's gone as well One left target. it worked out decently well so we just have these three guys uh, that's probably the Jenner. Uh, and those are the heavier ones. Aye, aye. Now. 
Does he he should have evasion if I remember this correctly? Can we get a good shot at someone? Well, we still need to cool down for another round, so we'll move you over here. I think that's good, so at least for now, nobody has a vision on us. Since we don't have vision either, so let's go into reserve, see what they do. Okay, they do the same. What do you need? Well, I guess... Can we expose ourselves so that we are only in vision of one guy? We could get a vision of the 60 ton mech. Not sure whether that is the best idea at this point. The problem is that everyone is relatively badly harmed. You still have a good right armor, so we could position you like this. And then you'll get shot by everyone, probably. Probably. We could go into reserve for another round. Or, well, the problem is you are not in the best condition either. Can't really expose yourself to. And we don't... The terrain sucks as well, honestly. It really does. Let's just go into reserve as well, see whether they do... No, they don't. Okay, well, what's well, worse, a try. So we want to show your left side. And that's not possible from over there. It would be possible from here. So he has LRMs. He doesn't have a PPC, but everyone can still act, so they can come in range and... Maybe, let's just... I mean, you're pretty useless anyway, so let's... Let's move you over there, and just brace. See what they do. You're useless at this point. So someone, some of them has to move. Jenner moves up first. Okay. So, I guess we will be taking out this Jenner first. Could move over here. Well, that's a 30% chance, not too good. He's almost overheating, though. Waiting for orders. Could just move him and sense a lock as well. But he doesn't have too much heat, so I guess we won't be doing that. So you want to show your right side. So let's do probably something along those lines. Moving to position. And we'll only take a shot with a large laser. So we'll, we'll be cooling down a little bit. And excellent, structure exposed. I didn't expect to uh, hit, to be honest. So they will either sh shoot at one of those guys. Okay, so he is structure exposed as well. AC 20 crit. Well, that's not good. Yes, Commander. That is not good at all. We gotta move you. Probably over here. And we want to show your left side. So like this. On my way. And we're going to do a precision strike on... Well, we probably shoot at the dragon, to be honest. Take a lucky shot on the head, 5%. Roger. If this is a shot, 
Well, something hit at least. It wasn't the head, but some heavy damage. you did hit. So I guess there's that. Okay, the PPC missed. Excellent. I'm showing minor damage. So what do you have left? Do you have the PPC? You basically just the AC5. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So we could get you over here. Get a sh good shot onto this griffin. Confirm. Uh, we want to show your right side. That's good, I think. At least more or less. Um, let's shoot at 36 and 65. Where is your, your PPCs right there, right? Yeah, so I guess we'll shoot there. Uh, right arm destroyed. That hit something okay, so the PPC is gone. I guess we'll have we have another turret. Let's get this done, folks. So there's the Jenner. It was three hits, I believe. That shot went internal. Wait, why? Why? Why was it internal? Ammo explosion avoided. He's overheating. Okay, so okay, your right leg is exposed as well. So who the fuck is shooting from over here? We don't see anyone. That's a bit concerning. Let's go into reserve. Waiting for the shot. Okay, so he's moving. No PPC left. That's okay. Commander. Now we gotta move. We don't see what shot at you. Which is a little bit concerning, to be honest. It, I think it came from over there, so we could go right here, expose our right side. We we'll pro would probably overheat. Let's just uh, have a look. No, we wouldn't overheat. Okay, so we can move. We want to show our right side. He still has the AC5. He still has the LRM. Aye, aye. So I guess the AC5 is more dangerous. So we'll put you over here. Put you over here, you will shoot at the dragon. Maybe we should even do a precision strike. At... Where is the AC5? AC5 ammo? Well, I guess we'll take this one. Perfect, so he doesn't have any weaponry left. So, and since he is the last one who can act, um, no, two more guys can act. He can act and something else. Oh, it's this turret. Okay, so those two can still act. But yeah, you are basically out of weaponry, which is excellent. That means... Um... What, what does that mean? Could do a DFA. But that's... Maybe a bit risky. I guess we could do something like this. Those are terrible odds though. It's because he says 4 evasion. Do I want to do a DFA? I guess we should try it. I guess it's... the legs are still semi-okay. And by semi I mean not at all anymore. Standing by. 
that at least I guess we'll, we have we talked o uh, over it. And that's a 30% chance. I guess we'll move you over there. Take a shot. Just to reduce one evasion. Reporting negative damage. Since he is, believe it or not, he is the most dangerous enemy on the on the field right now. So we'll put you over there. We will do a precision strike. We will shoot at the leg. Okay, that's perfect. I think, at least. Knock down. Good. Ooh. My heat things can't vent fast enough. I'm taking damage. I didn't thought you would overheat. Okay, so he can fire over here. That's good to know. I guess. I guess that is good to know. He still has the LRM. I don't want to move too close to this dragon since he is still able to act in this round. Unit in this location are risk of destruction. Okay. Well, hmm. How do we do this? Could go over here and just shoot him from there. We would like. Let's just. Yeah, let's do something like this. Right, Commander. We're gonna shoot everything we have. We will do precision strike as well onto this guy. Um, I guess we shall take a cold shot on this thing. And that should do it, right? Right torso destroyed, yes. So he Let's has it, no LRMs anymore. If he wants to do something, he needs to come closer. So basically no one has weaponry left, I think. We should be able to successfully complete this mission. Good to go. I think. Okay, so... I guess you can take a shot over there. Ah, uh, maybe that was a mistake. You could be exposed to this bloody turret. Not sure. Not sure. Waiting for orders. Uh, well, you need to cool down first and foremost. So I guess we'll move you over here. Move order received. And brace around. So there is the dragon, he moves back, and he can't get in range. This guy can still move. Well, we need to cool down anyway. So I guess we'll go over there, maybe we can take one shot with... Uh, well, the, Yeah, that would work. We could fire the PPC or we can just fire the... LRMs as an alternative. I think that's okay. Okay, so he ejected. Perfect. One less guy to deal with. Yeah. Okay. So we need to be careful about this bloody turret. Stop it, you turret. This Jenner is, <laughs> is bloody annoying. He has one evasion. Orders. So I guess we'll move you over there. We'll do a shot. Firing. And miss. That's okay. So there's the Griffin. He doesn't have any sort of Commander. damage either so we can move you there or maybe let's bring you over here we can do a precision strike let's finish this guy off um maybe we don't fire one of the lasers just shoot at this thing Firing. and miss I'm 
black on AC20 ammo. Yep. Well, that her. was that's okay. That was expected. So, did he already move? He did. Okay, so we can go over here and do another shot like this. And that should probably do it, right? That's a critical hit. Yep. One of them left. So he ejected as well. Only one guy left. Which we probably... Well, I guess... We can do an indirect fire, why not? Perfect. Excellent. Good job, Commander, with the supplies you've just secured for us. Our battle mechs will shatter the Directorate's battle lines. Thmissen will be liberated now and forever. And Lord Corrosus will be grateful not to put too, fi uh, too fine a point on it, but we do need his help. And we shall have it. I will arrange an audience with him directly. Enjoy your victory, Commander. You've earned it. Well, I wouldn't consider this a victory, to be honest. We have Successful. suffered heavy losses. We have suffered heavy losses. We paid a high price for this mission. Hopefully we shall get at least some salvage of the dragon. That would make things a little better. I mean, the payment is not too much increased. Save six, okay. Well, I guess one million, that's fine. So we do need to uh, do some heavy repair work on the Shadowhawk. Everyone else is okay for now. So let's get some pieces of this dragon. We can actually assemble it even. So that's good. We can assemble the Jenner as well, maybe. Do we have some good weaponry? We don't need those. We don't need those. Definitely don't need medium lasers. Don't need ammo. Don't need jump jets. We have more than we need. So I guess we'll take the next best thing. Got another piece. Basically we got pretty much everything. That's good. Okay. I like that. So we can assemble the dragon. And we can also assemble a griffin, and we can probably also assemble... Oh, there was a third make it to Jenner, I believe. So we'll, we'll definitely sell the Jenner. We have no use for that mech. Uh, damn, I may want to play, play around with the dragon. But first we probably get... No, no cutscene. My lord Corrosus, what a pleasure it is to see your face again. Long did you serve House Orano, and long were you a friend to me. Your loyalty and wisdom are remembered to this day. Spare me the pleasantries, lapdog. You're here because your mistress needs something. Isn't that right, Lady Orano? Go on, speak for yourself. You don't need a Madeira to speak for you. My lord Corrosus, my forces have just liberated your system from the Directorate control. At this time yesterday afternoon I was waging war on your behalf. As your leech lady I require your loyalty and the aid of your technologists and I expect you to provide it. What you require means nothing to me. For the last three years your uncle has squeezed House Corrosus for its labor. His Directorate conscripted my house guard, looted my treasury, look took my children, all because I kept loyal to House Orano. And where were you while you sworn allies were under attack? While your people were being slaughtered, you were hiding on the dam damned frontier. I saw your little broadcast from Valdry. By your own admission, you left us to die. Uh, we can say nothing. She was biding her time, Locrosus. That's a difference. Use your head, Corrosus. If she stayed and fought, she'd be dead by now. Yep, that's probably true. I didn't request your opinion, mercenary. Until I do, I'd advise you to keep your mouth shut. We understand the hardships that you have suffered, sir, but from this point forward, you will show me the respect that I'm due. Your own son was released from captivity by my hand. 
I fought and bled to set him free. You saved my author, yes, but he isn't the man I remember anymore. The prison administrators on Weldy did something to his mind. And my daughter, Lena, she supported you, you know. Even after you abandoned us to our fate, she refused to break faith with you. She sang your praises to all who would listen until the rectorate made an example of her. Lena was barely 20 years old when she died in your name. My fealty to you cause died with her, and so if you want my help, you will compensate for me for it. You have a job for my technologists, and I have a job for your mercenaries. We'll trade service for service, or you will leave her with nothing. I guess we will have to do the dirty work here. I'm sorry, Lord Carosus, I didn't know. As a member of the founding council of the Oregon Coalition, you're entitled to my help. And you shall have it. My mercenaries will assist you with whatever you need. And I will oversee the tasks personally. You have my word. Go on go on then. To Anvald, this planet's first moon. There is a ship, the new Grange, Grange, that needs to be dealt with. My people will send you the details. Now please go. Leave me to attend my son. They had more than munitions down there, Commander. There's a warehouse full of busted dragons. Oh, more dragons. I'm not going to tell you that the dragons... A good mech but it's big and can carry a lot of guns if you bring them on board i'll get them working look at look in the shop for them the contract to destroy the new grange for low is ready for your review in the command center we should follow up okay good that's excellent we'll come back to that but i guess yeah just assemble the griffin build a dragon build a jenner and that's what we can build for now. We will do some repair work. So let's start with the Centurion. Three days. Okay, well, that's more than I thought. Let's do the quick draw. Uh, let's do the Vindicator. And now we'll take care of you. So basically repair all. That's fine. Gotta get some SRMs. We do have an SRM 6 and an SRM 4. We also had a medium laser that's over here and like some ammo. Uh, no, we'll put this. I don't know, where should we? I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's put it over here. It's just because it's cheaper. So it's it's expensive, but I think it's probably worth it. So we'll do the the Ostsoul, then we'll probably gonna prioritize the quick draw and the centurion. Do the Vindicator as well before the Warhammer gets done. Yeah, that's okay. So, we'll get a financial report. Let's do this in uh, this episode. Uh, moonlight with a medium laser. While pacing through the Mac Bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Saint. He is fiddling with a stock medium laser, a, a jumbled pile of loose metal and wire litters the deck, plating around him. As you approach, Saint looks up. A sheepish grin on his face. Oh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this beauty. Maybe a little more or performance out of her. Could you do me a favor and keep this from the chief, though? He's already shooed me out of here once this week. Remind him that's not a mercenary's job. Let him keep working on it. We can do that. And we can do make him spend a week in the mech bay. Yeah, let's do that. So we gained a medium laser plus plus, and he is unavailable for seven days. That's okay. Totally fine with that. Uh, now we'll still stay at normal morale for now. Uh, we shall also look at the contracts just quickly. So I'll go ahead and do the, the both one and a half skull missions in between episodes. And then we'll probably do this one in the next episode. Uh, we can also have a look at the store. I didn't have a chance to have a battle master. That's an assault mech. Looks interesting. 
We also have a crusader. Are we already in possession of crusader? I believe we've encountered a crusader. Already. We do have a rifleman. Okay, so let's quickly have a look whether we have crusader pieces in our storage. Wait. Okay, so we need to outfit the uh, crusader, crusader. We do have one piece, so let's... And we do have 3.7 million. I guess we can buy this piece. Oh yeah, it says right there. We do have two... Well... Hmm. Maybe we should buy the mercenary fur uh, the mercenary the rifleman first so we can assemble it at least let's just get rid of this Jenner we don't need that for sure um still may want to keep the rest for now so we'll, we're going to buy one rifleman that's okay, just built that thing. Great. Uh, we can look at the ship upgrades f real quickly. I would like to get the mech base 3. Well, that's way too expensive. Way too expensive. Because, well, we are full right here. I mean, we, we probably should play around with the guys we have right now before we attempt well, before we actually get in more even more mechs but I think I'm gonna buy the crusader as well we don't need a dragon we already have a dragon or do we we could also try just buy a random piece of this battle master I don't know, let me think of the uh, uh, around this in between episodes. We can maybe do a quick experiment right here. Just something along those lines. That's okay. Uh, what do we have? We, we have basically just... It's just lasers. Just a bunch of lasers or PPCs for that matter. Could just get two PPCs in, wouldn't be the worst idea. Aside from that, the heat efficiency is absolutely terrible. And maybe one heat sink. I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. Let's just, yeah, let's just roll with this. I don't think we need anything fancy here. Just get a situational mech in case we need it. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let's just, well, you're gonna be last in line. That's perfect. Okay, so I think we'll call this an episode. In the next episode, we will be trying out our Thunderbolt. I'll probably try it out in uh, off-screen since I want to start building experience with our guys. But we will premiere it in the big mission in the uh, next episode. And uh, maybe we can even premiere the Warhammer. That would be exciting as well. And I think I'm gonna... Probably put the fire starter into the storage and instead get the dragon. Do we get the dragon or do we get the rifleman? He has more movement, more melee. Very immobile. But maybe he has more space. It's probably the better mech in terms of weaponry. But maybe we should get someone with movement. Well, none of them have jump chats. Um, well, let me think about this. I don't think that's a decision we have to do now. So, we'll call this uh, an episode here. Um, 
yeah, this was a pretty long episode. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Take care. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.